Okay, calculate the work done by the 350 newton force on this boat. Work done just means energy transferred. And to calculate work done, you simply do the force times the distance moved parallel to the force. So in this case, the 350 newton force is upwards or in the forward direction. But the boat is moving towards the top right, like this. So we can't use that whole 100 meter distance. We'll have to figure out this component here, which is parallel to the force. Now, because this 4 degrees is touching that distance there, you can simply do 100 times cosine 40, because it's touching, which gives me 76.6 meters. So the work done will be 350 newtons times 76.6 which is 26800 joules. Okay, so if the distance at 100 meters had been in this direction of the force, I would simply use this equation. But because it's not, because it's at an angle, I use this equation. But you need to be careful, because if they gave you this angle here, if this was the theta that was given, then you'd have to use sine theta instead of cosine theta. Calculate the work done by the person pushing the lawnmower. Okay, so I know I said that the work done is equal to force times distance moved parallel to the force, and this is the proper definition. However, there's another way you can do this. You can do a distance moved times a component of the force parallel to the distance moved. So I've got the 250 newton force here, and I can resolve this force, and I'm interested in this component of that force, the one that's parallel to the distance moved. I am not interested in this one. Okay, so I'm not interested in that. So again, you can see it's actually cosine. So you're going to actually get the same answer. So this is going to be 250 cosine 35, which is 205 newtons. So I can see the work done is going to equal the distance moved, which is 5, times the component of force parallel to the distance moved. That gives me a total of 124 joules. The diagram shows a satellite doing circular motion with a radius of 4.2 times 10 to the 7 meters and a speed of 8,100 meters per second. The force of gravity on the satellite is 300 newtons and is always act toward, toward the center of the planet. So in other words, when the satellite is all the way down here, the force is still going to be like this. Okay, It's going to change direction so it's always towards center. And the uh, the satellite will be going in this direction at that point in time. Calculate the work done on the satellite by the force of gravity. Okay, this is a bit of a trick question. The answer is work done by the force of gravity is actually zero. The reason for this is to do the definition of work done. Work done is the force times the distance moved in the direction parallel to the force. So in this case, the, the satellite never actually moves in the direction of the force. In fact, the distance and the direction moved by the satellite is always perpendicular to the force. You can see here, it's always perpendicular. So force is perpendicular to the motion of the object. So zero, in other words, zero distance traveled in the direction of the force. So the work done is zero.